Today, let's talk about the four common mistakes that many people make when trying to lower their high cholesterol levels by adding oats into their diets. Welcome to another episode of the Habits Pharmacy, where habits become medicine. I am Dr. Chan, your host. In the course of my work, whether at my clinic or at the many Habits as Medicine training and coaching programs that I run, coaching people to modify and improve their dietary habits to prevent and better control lifestyle and diet-related chronic conditions, I often see people making the effort to specifically add oats into their diets with the hope that it will help bring their elevated blood cholesterol levels under control to more optimal and healthier levels. There are four common mistakes that I often see people make when they do that. Number one, having unrealistic expectations of the degree that oats consumption can help to lower blood cholesterol. I often have people say to me, Doctor, oats does not work. I have incorporated oats into my diet, but my blood cholesterol is still unhealthily high. I have previously done this video on does oats consumption help to lower blood cholesterol. In it, I shared that there is good scientific agreement that oats consumption may help to lower blood cholesterol levels to some degree, up to a few percentage points. I'm not going to the detail of that in this video. You might want to watch that video after this. So, even though oats consumption does help lower cholesterol, it is important to be realistic about the degree that oats consumption and help in bring down elevated cholesterol levels. Number two, it's not being comprehensive enough in modifying and improving one's diet to lower blood cholesterol. Many people, upon being told that their blood cholesterol is unhealthily high, often do not do enough to comprehensively review and identify key aspects of their eating habits that they need to work on to change or improve to lower their cholesterol levels. I have seen many people, including my patients, where the only thing that they had done to try to lower their raised cholesterol levels was to incorporate oats into their diets, even though there were many other obvious areas of their eating habits that needed to be changed or improved to lower their cholesterol. Mistake number three is not being holistic enough in one's health goals. Even if you are concerned about your high cholesterol and you want to look at how to improve your diet to lower your cholesterol, your goal should be more than that. You should be more holistic in your health goals. You should still be setting your goal to be improving your diet to lower your overall long-term risk of diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and other lifestyle-related chronic diseases. Even if your only current health issue is having high cholesterol, you should still be looking at improving all aspects of your diet to lower your overall long-term chronic diseases risk. Mistake number four is having a wrong mindset. Even if you are determined to lower your high cholesterol by adding oats to your diet, because you know that oats consumption is associated with lower cholesterol levels, your mindset should not be about forcing yourself to have oats regularly. Even though you do not enjoy oats or even hate the taste of oats, you should instead have a mindset of wanting to learn to like oats and exploring new ways to enjoy oats regularly. I remember this elderly lady who came to see me at my clinic for coaching to improve her diet to lower her high cholesterol levels. And when I review her diet thoroughly by going through her food photos, I saw that she was having a big bowl of oats every morning. So I remarked to her, you must love eating oats a lot. She then gave me this exasperated look that I will never forget and then said to me, no doctor, to the contrary, I hate the taste of oats. Every morning whenever I have the bowl of oats for breakfast, I hated it so much that I almost feel like vomiting. But I am forcing myself to still eat oats every morning only to please my well-meaning children who want me to eat oats more regularly because it is supposed to be good for helping to lower my high cholesterol levels. The takeaway from that story is this. Oats may be helpful for lowering high blood cholesterol. Go ahead and explore ways to incorporate it into your eating habits in a way that is both sustainable and enjoyable. Having the wrong mindset of depending on willpower to force yourself to eat oats even when you hate oats is not going to be sustainable or even necessary. So these are the four common mistakes that I see people make when trying to add oats to their diet to lower their high cholesterol levels. Number one, having unrealistic expectations about how much oats can help to lower cholesterol. Number two, not making comprehensive enough changes to one's eating habits. Number three, 
focusing only on lowering blood cholesterol instead of holistically lowering one's overall long-term risk of chronic diseases. And lastly, of not having the correct mindset of exploring ways to enjoy oats regularly because only then can it be sustainable. If you want to watch this other video that I made on this topic, you can click here or the link in the notes below. Let habits be thy medicine. I'm Dr. Chan. Eat well and be well.